Good morning, YouTube Pipe Community. It is a beautiful, beautiful Sunday morning here in the Buckeye State. Uh, let me turn this down. Don't want to get any any copyright strikes on me. <sighs> Welcome to the Shire Shed. I, of course, am Sunny. And I am having a bowl of, care to guess, care to guess, anthology. in the Peterson 2022 Christmas 01 Rusticated. Look how pretty that is, man. I've got two more waiting for me. And I'm trying to be good and not drop $300 all in one shot. Because adulting. Yeah. How the hell are you, everybody? Glad to have you here. I am listening to the Lord of the Rings soundtrack specifically from Fellowship of the Ring. Uh, current song playing is... The Shire, which would be track two on the soundtrack. I don't know. It just kind of felt right today. Which is kind of odd because normally springtime is when I really, when I really start bumping the jams from Lord of the Rings. But, I don't know. I was feeling it today, I guess. Yeah, let me open this window. Help some of this. Come on, there you go. Help some of this smoky goodness. Exit. I hope everybody's digging the new format. Kind of polish things up a little bit. I had a little bit of fun with that while I was in bed this morning. That's my thing with this channel. I'm not going to do anything that is extra laborious unless it's specifically for one of you. Anything else is just me having fun. And if it's not fun, then there's no point in doing the channel. I have fun with graphic design and and stuff like that when I want to do it. Um, and if I don't want to do it, then I don't. Maybe once this channel, if it ever becomes monetized or anything like that, I, I don't know if it's going to. Maybe. Uh, I do want to apologize for my last video that I uploaded. I had my mic a little too close to my beard. And that's the scratchy sound that you heard. I'm not sure if you noticed it, but... I sure did after I uploaded it. I was like, crap. That sounds like buttholes. Burning buttholes. Hmm. And I tell you, these crazy weeks at work, I hope they stop soon. Whew. Mm. 
Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. I think I've figured out my video frequency and like specifically the content that I want to put out. Uh, thinking like two, maybe three videos a week. During the week, I'll do like a short, like five to ten minute review of, you know, whatever tobacco. And then on Saturday or Sunday, or maybe both, um, I just kind of do this. I just sit and have coffee and a bowl with you all and and listen to the birds and listen to the world wake up. And of course, listen to music. So I think that's the format I'm going to go with. Yeah. But again, like I said in my intro video, I'm not going to, I'm not going to kill myself trying to get you know, a whole bunch of content out. As soon as this video stops being fun, then I'm not going to do it anymore. And so far, I'm having fun with it. It's not... It's not time-consuming, really. I mean... And the very little bit of it that is... is fun. Video editing me adding little dumb cuts and stuff and in videos that, that's fun to me so I don't, you know I'll do that all day I'm going to quote him again. Sun come up, coffee going down. I will not say the other line. Not today. Man, I tell you, old Jeremy Reeves was, he was firing on all cylinders when he blended this one. This anthology is, oh. it's just fantastic. I'm hoping it gets restocked soon because I will drop like $300 on this. But I don't think it's getting restocked. It doesn't say small batch, but it's... I have a feeling it was a small batch, just not officially so. Just everything about it is wonderful. The Virginia sing, the Perique sings. It's oh. Mm, mm -mm. You know, I was I was going back through old matches videos, matches eight sixty, and I was thinking 
man, that guy, he really was a staple to our, our little community here, wasn't he? Trying to think. I mean, just his intro was hilarious and perfect. Matches eight six zero. I would go so far as to say that he was the father of the YTPC. I, I'm sure others have said that too. But I think it's true. There was one video where he was... He was giving advice on... Getting started into making videos and... Like do's and don'ts kind of thing. And he was... Oh, what was that? It looked like maybe a Savinelli 615 or something. And he was having a bowl of uh, Lane Limited Ready Rub. And, uh, man, he was just puffing on that. That dude was a freight train. I never really noticed it before. But he was just going to town on that stuff. Ooh, excuse me. I had a little gastrointestinal action going on. I don't think I don't think I showed you guys my my new little Karibi that I got. Well, it's I mean it's not new new, but I talked about it in a video and then I never showed you guys. At least I don't think so. Look at that little fella. I love this thing, man. It's perfect for here in the Shire shed. Nothing too big got that nice matte finish. I love this. Love it. So yeah, old matches. Dude was a legend. I understand his favorite tobacco was University Flake. Man of good taste. If you haven't checked out any of Match's 860's videos, you should go check them out. I don't know what it was about him, but he was just, he was entertaining without being entertaining. Like over the top or something like that. He, he just had a way. And anyone that's watched him, I, I'm sure you agree. Been checking out the new Halloween pipes from Peterson. I'm super on the fence about them. 
I love Peterson, but I feel like they kind of went a little lazy on those. I mean, the sand blasts are amazing. But my buddy Nick Maxfield said something <laughs> very astute. Peterson set the bar too high last year with doing the Halloween pipe with the red stem with the black swirl in it. The system, P-Lip, they set the bar too high. They really did. And I'm still, I mean, I'm on the fence. I, I like, I'm, more, I'm a collector, as a lot of us are. So, I want to get one. But I'm having a hard time with it. I almost wish they would have done a rusticated. I like I prefer rusticated over over smooth or sandblasted most of the time anyway. That's why this Although honestly, if they would have had this in smooth, I would have gotten that instead. But this was the only 01 that they had. And then the other two Christmas pipes that I have waiting for me are both smooth. I'm not going to tell you which ones. But if you know me, I bet you'll be able to guess at least one of them. If not both. I'll tell you what. If you see me with one of those Halloween pipes, refer me back to this video, will you? <laughs> so I can remind myself that I'm hopeless. And that I have a problem. Pipe addiction disorder. It's real. I feel like most of us need a hotline to call. I mean, they've got one for gambling. They have AA for alcohol addiction. Uh, I don't know if they have a hotline for alcohol addiction, drug addiction, suicide everything we need one for pipe addiction disorder and tobacco acquisition disorder that's going to be a thing maybe we just we need to raise awareness people we need to raise awareness and let our wives know and in some cases, husbands know that this is a real disorder. And it's not just easy to quit. You can't just quit. All kinds of terrible things happen, men. It's not that easy. Anyhow, I've rambled on long enough. My wife's in there making breakfast right now. I'm going to put this bowl down here in a bit. Go eat. Can't believe I've been talking to you all this long. Time flies when you're having fun. See? having fun with this channel. It's a good time. So with that, I want to wish you all happy Sunday again. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. 
Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And if you do, don't get caught. See you later.